everyone is what? Is welcome. Hallelujah. Come together and praise and worship God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So the Holy Spirit it has to come with, to everyone. Hallelujah. Amen. And what we have to do is we have received the power of the Holy Spirit. The word of God came so that we got the fullness. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We do not have the young people amongst us. Our future is not bright. Amen. Amen. We are, uh, I was a young man and now I am grey. And I see most of uh, the same age guys we are grey <laughs> now. So we uh, like to uh, empower uh, the young people amongst us. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And uh, you know what happens is that within every organization, the, the, the young blood uh, comes in and we, we see the difference that makes the what? The difference. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, one advantage that St. John Apostolic Church of the whole world we have is that we uh, preach in English. We can teach in English. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And uh, we can mix and match. Amen. Amen. And everyone is what? Is welcome. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Then I even saw the young people that when they are being sent by their parents, and they say, ah, my mama no data. The Holy Spirit is also discounting. They say, ah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So the Holy Spirit it has to come with, to everyone. Hallelujah. Amen. And what we have to do is we have to come before God and say Praise we God. are empty feelers. Amen. Amen. Otherwise, if we are already filled, we will live with nothing. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now you find that Genesis chapter 1, verse 2 says the Holy Spirit was already on the earth hovering. Yes. Amen. Around. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And everything that was created, God was sent with the Holy Spirit. So God plans. Yes? Amen. Then the child who is Jesus Christ implemented. But the Holy Spirit empowers. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because if, if you read the discourse of Jesus Christ in John chapter 14 mm. to 17, mm. he speaks and says that I am going to the Father. Mm. But I will not leave you on your own. I will give you the Holy Spirit. And when he comes, mm. he will not speak of anything else, but he will remind you of everything that I've said. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. But now, the Holy Spirit does not just reside in church. He resides with you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, I, uh, I, 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 I got a present as a smartwatch. And I did not connect it to anything. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I was waiting. You know the day that the, uh, the, the time changed? The watch changed on its own. I said, who told you? <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> who, who told you that the time had changed? What are you connected to? I did not connect it to anything. But it changed on its what? <laughs> on its own. So that means that if you can see a device which is created by men able to connect and to see everything, what about the Holy Spirit of God? Amen. He is able to do more. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. He is able to see where you are. Amen. And we are nothing Amen. without him. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us just go to the verse to God's body. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the kama That means fire. A lot of people they discounted that sound. But is Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Our Bible reading coming from the book of Acts 2, from verses 1 to 5, under the heading, The Coming of the Holy Spirit. The coming of the what? Holy Spirit. From verse 1. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all gathered together in one place. Now I want you to then link that verse 
to Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25. Mm -hmm. Never give up the spirit of meeting one with another and come together and praise and worship God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Verse 2. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, mm -hmm. a sound like a mighty rushing wind came from heaven, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. Uh -huh. They appeared to them tongues as of fire, being distributed and resting on each of them. And they were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them to speak. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You find that when the power of the Holy Spirit came, it says they were all gathered in one accord. Mm -hmm. Amongst the disciples, they all had different statuses. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But there were other people who were even there who did not even have a status. Mm -hmm. But what they did was they followed an instruction. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Gather in this place. Mm. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Gather in this what? Place. Just that instruction alone. Mm. Because if it does not start within your heart, mm. it means that you are empty. Don't that contain it. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the, as the heart is deceitful and very evil, who can know it? <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Except you who is carrying it. Hallelujah. Amen. So for that power to be received upon you, you have to examine yourself. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, when Paul says, I, I give to you what I have also received. Amen. But he, he also goes and continues and says, he should examine himself. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because Hallelujah. Because the FD says say something, he says, when I begin to look at the laws that are there, I I I, I, I begin to see that ah, even me I'm unworthy because I, at 32, I still was continuing. Hallelujah. Amen. So that means that the house needs to be what? Swept clean. Hallelujah. Amen. For the power of the Holy Spirit to rest. Mm -hmm. To find a place. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. But this rushing wind does not stop there. Amen. Acts chapter 2, chapter 4. Amen. Our Bible reading coming from Acts chapter 4, verse 31. When they pray. So now you have to find that there is something what is called corporate prayer. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. There is something that is called corporate prayer, mm -hmm. and there is something that it does. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the first thing that they began with was prayer. And when Jesus Christ was teaching about prayer, what did he say? Huh? Our Father, who art in what? Yeah. Hallowed be Amen. thy name. Amen. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. They started with a prayer, a foundation. Amen. In order to be to receive the, 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 the Holy Spirit to come where there was a what? Foundation. So they started with a prayer, with all the precepts that are there. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. You know, I used to remember a time that we, um, you know, when the word of God, the guitar was so and was a shame. Hallelujah. Do you know, do you know what, what was happening during the time that the disciples were receiving the Holy Spirit? Jesus Christ had been nailed on the cross. There were people who were in the streets and who in the market and says, ah, you were following that guy. He was nailed on the on the Golgotha with the other thieves. We knew that uh, that guy he was he was nothing. Hallelujah! There were a lot of things that were going around that were causing them to feel as if they were nothing. But he, they were only told one instruction: go and what and gather. Some of them had even gone to their own tents. Some had even gone and backslid. Peter denied Jesus Christ. I don't know that guy. Who, who is he? And he, it says he even swore. But they only followed one instruct, 
Christian because Jesus now was asking questions. Do you love me? Mm. Peter shepherd my flock. Mm. And he then said, now God. Mm. But they knew that they had nothing before they prayed. Amen. Amen. So now we hear and they, and they prayed. The place where they were assembled together was shaken. So the place where they, they gathered together was shaken. Mm. Yeah, hallelujah. Mm. Why is it God is choosing just to shake the place? <laughs> hallelujah. Amen. Why was is he shaking it? <laughs> hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Uh, my, uh, my young people, I'm going to shift to the Shona here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because some people they come carrying a lot of things. So if they, they, they are not shaken, the things will not watch, will not fall. Hallelujah. Because when you come into the house of the Lord, you have to know that if you are carrying anything, you will receive of nothing. Hallelujah. And God chooses to shake the place to show that ah, if you are carrying anything, please, this is not the what? The place. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. And when he was shaking, what happened? Hmm. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Uh -huh. And spoke the word of God with boldness. And spoke the word of God with boldness. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, these are only two occasions that we see the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The second occasion that we have just come across, Peter had been beaten up. They had been arrested and they had been beaten up and they were told not to speak about Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. But still, the word is coming, shaking the place, blah, 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 and saying, you need to speak it boldly. Ah. Hallelujah. Amen. Initially, they were running away Amen. because Jesus had already died. Amen. Why is it that they had to gather again, the place shaken again? Because some will discount coming to gatherings like this. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Because I must believe that Peter was there in Acts in chapter 1. I would not have a giant woman. The guy that would tell him. The guy that would tell him. The guy that would tell him. Hallelujah. Amen. But the of food, but second shaking, up on Jericho, no If you do not consistently get the field, you cannot go the, the, the mileage. If you read in the book of Acts, chapter 19, you find that when the apostle Paul was now preaching, he met some people who said, I know we are disciples of John. He says, have you received the Holy Spirit? They said, which Holy Spirit? We have not received anything. Amen. And he then began to say, ah, and he says, he prayed, and he laid again hands on them, and Amen. they received the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, if Peter had said, ah, the first time it's okay, but I don't have to I don't have to I have to have the second question. <laughs> because what happens is that in the jail, in the spiritual jail, mm. you need to be talked up. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because even Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, He would go away and pray Amen. and ask God, Can you help me? Hallelujah. Amen. So when we come to prayers like this, when we come to pray the cross, when you come to teachings like this, Amen. do not live without the feeling of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Do not live without the feeling of the power of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We, we live in a, in a world that is uh, Antichrist. There's a lot of things that happen in our lives Amen. that fight against the power of God. Hallelujah. Amen. But it is my sincere prayer that the same power of the Holy Spirit that heals, that transforms, that gives life will revive you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah.